This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdar back here with another episode of F Fable, the last chapters. In the last episode, we uh, helped a, a bandit from getting hung or hanged or executioned or whatever, and we did some side quests. Now, let's finish that uh, that saving ah, of the... Uh... Savior. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's save these guys like we did last time, but this time, how about I actually do it correctly and try to actually save them instead of just, you know, let them just get, uh, get killed, you know, so. I'm basically just cutting to the part of the, of the, uh, of the time when I, uh, was working towards getting the last dude, so. That way it's not, uh, that way it's a bit more solid. Yeah, I gotta be careful, because otherwise we'll have... We'll have a same repeat of last time. Which I don't even know why I let that happen in the first place. I guess I thought they would just, uh, target... The, come on, are you gonna follow me? Looks like they're not coming up here, so we can... We only have to deal with that when we're leaving, I guess. Although we have to hurry, we only got a couple of minutes. I suppose I should thank you. Took your precious time. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to be rescued. Oh, calm your tits, We can't dude. stand here all day talking, though. We gotta leave now. I assume we gotta leave the way we came, right? All right, come on, let's go. We don't have a whole lot of time, so apparently slowing down the time does not just does not actually slow down the timer, which I think is a bit BS if you catch my drift. But whatever. Now it's easy enough to why not? Let's finish these guys off so we can actually. And of course, like before, I've already gotten hit, so I can I can kiss that uh trying to uh, um, get that no hit achie er, not achievement. There's no achievements in, on the original Xbox. I mean, obviously, if you get the um, updated version, whatever it's called. Uh, They have to follow me out, right? I hope they have to actually follow me out of the camp. That would suck if I had to go like some other direction for some reason. But yeah, we're still doing side quests. I'm going to try to get a lot of those done out of the way here. I know we're getting pretty close to... Uh, we're, hopefully we can skip a couple of these guys and just go towards the... Over here. Uh, okay, where, uh, no, ah! <laughs> I gotta hurry. We're pretty close to the uh, time limit. I didn't think I'd be this close. You think I would have already gotten it? I think it's because I used slow down time too much while I was uh, while I was doing that. Now, if the, if the slow down ability actually slowed down the clock on like when you're required to like save them and all this other stuff, I would uh, I would have been more prone to use it during the mission. But but uh, oh, well, it wasn't that hard. It's not like it's not like I can't do it. I just Ah. Alright, come on, guys. Ah! I didn't actually leave, did I? Oh, shit. Oh, it feels okay. good to be free again, I can tell you that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Asher, you're a ah, sweet fella. I'll be sure to give you a discount on my wares if I ever see you again. Your face looks scary. Ah! You're freaking me out, man. Alright, I did your duty, guard. You're gonna pay me, right? Oh, I guess he does it off screen. Okay. Well, I got paid. And I got... Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, well. Alright. Hooray. Alright, time to go back to the guild hall and get some more quests. Get a lot of those out of the way since... Oh! Looks like the map... Sometimes the map will show, uh, uh, like, NPCs that have fallen in love with your character sometimes. Although, as soon as they see me, they'll probably be scared. But sometimes, uh, depending on your renown people will automatically become attracted to you despite your scariness factor. It's kind of weird. Just like running... Like in Fable 2, that happened a lot. I'd just like run around town and all of a sudden like 50 hearts would appear. And this would be near the end of the game, by the way. But still, I'd be like, ah! That's creepy. Anyway. Um, let's go... Yeah, I guess we could try the Lost Trader. Let's see about that. I'll try to get... I'll try to get next episode to... Um, Wait, I did take it, didn't I? Oh, I just... Oh, it didn't give me a boast option for some reason. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Maybe a... Huh, that was odd. I must have just pressed it too quickly or something like that and just 
skip to the best part. Well, I guess I'll take the other quest too while we're at it. Since uh, today's quest quest day anyway. I shall quest and and seek out fair treasure in the land. Anyway. Uh, okay, since I forgot to boast on that one. I guess, okay. Uh, wait, Briar Rose? She's uh, involved in this? Oh, okay. Uh, we could try. She'll probably get hurt. Wait, she's a hero, isn't she? Why, why do we need to protect her? Yeah, whatever. Fine. Now, I did take that other quest, like, right? Let me ch double check. Yeah, it did. I must have, uh... Yeah, I, I guess maybe when I pressed it, I, since I took take quest without boasting, it automatically uh, got rid of the um, ability to actually boast for it. Okay, well, I guess I won't get any extra money for it then. I usually like to show people the options for, like, what the quests give, but I guess in this case, well, unless it's one of those quests that doesn't have a boast option, and, I mean, I'll probably look back through the video while editing it, see if, uh, see if there's anything I need to, I might have missed, but I don't think so. Alright, anyway, let's uh, teleport to, let's take care of that traitor. Looks like he's closest to the, uh... Bandit Road, so we'll just go to Twin Blades Camp, I think, will be the fastest. You know, I said a long time ago I was going to change outfits and equipment every so often, just to kind of change it up a bit, yet I, I've left myself in the same outfit. And the funny thing is, I don't even think the Assassin's Garb is the best outfit I could really wear. I mean, I could probably wear that bright armor or something like that and, uh, for more defense, but because of my strength's high enough, I could wear it without any problems. I don't know, I guess at this point it's just... It's at a certain level in the game, it really kind of comes down to armor, yes, helps, but at some point it kind of comes down to how it just... It's like, it's like, a, well, I mean... I'm trying to think of what the word would be. But, oh, can you not go back this way? No way. That can't be right. Are you kidding me? Huh. Actually, what was the story again? The Steven door? Huh? Oh. One with Nick oh, that's the one where you have to dress up as people. Okay. But yeah, apparently I can't, uh... I can't go back to... the abandoned road via this way. That's really dumb. I don't remember that. I'm, man, it really must have been quite a few years since I last played the game if I'm forgetting, like, little details like that. Man. Odd. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh... See where our next option is if we can't go that way. Let's check out. Uh, isn't it? I thought there was a free roam option. Oh, there we go. I guess Oakvale is where I gotta go then. Gotta go through that. Uh... And go through the uh, cliff pass. That'll probably be the best way to go. Hmm. I guess maybe I shouldn't have started the episode with finishing off that one side quest. Should have started it at the spot where the next one would go. Oh well. This is dick around episode anyway, so we'll just do whatever. We try to we'll try to get to the where we want to go, but overall it's all about me just kinda of messing around and Okay, I'll put away my weapon, Jesus. Calm down, yo. Come down, dog. Got your back, dog. Alright. Make our way there. Good old Oakvale. You were burned down long ago, apparently by Jack of Blades. I wonder why Jack of Blades did. I mean, I know why he did all of it, but let's just talk rhetorically. Why would Jack of Blades do all this and also capture her mom? Wouldn't he just kill her because you know she was a threat? Because she's apparently this like awesome hero. Obviously, there's more to it than meets the eye. Or maybe Jack's not a psychopath. Who knows? Although the fact they burned down a village to the ground just to kill our family. Or possibly kill our family, but capture our mom in the process meant there's a bit more to it. But I guess we won't find out till we talk to Jack himself. I mean, Jack's a well-known hero, right? There are legends spoken of the man, so why would he... Uh... It's like any other story. Why would a well-known hero all of a sudden decide to uh, do such dirty deeds? Hey, okay, I guess before we do the quest, let me see what the Lost Trader thing says. It says, find the traitor's lost brother and return him to safety. Okay, so you gotta find this brother, dude. I didn't uh, get to read what the dark, Darkwood dr Disturbance does, but apparently it has something to do with Briar Rose. 
By the way, in the original version of this game, Briar Rose never makes an appearance. Oh, actually, no. I think she makes one appearance in a tavern, and then she never appears again, or something like that. It, like, she makes, like, one appearance, Please and then never me. appears again, because they forgot to cut her out. Thomas, my brother is lost somewhere up ahead. Follow me. I think he's somewhere up here. Why do you need me? It sounds like you have a general idea where he's at, dude. All right. Yeah, there's no rewards because I didn't. I didn't boast. Oh well. That looks like there's bandits everywhere around here. It's probably not a very uh, safe place to go, Mr. Trader. But I need to get paid, despite my He's evil acts as a the hero. Forest. I'm too scared to um. go in. Oh, boo, frickity who. Fine, we'll take care of these bozos. <laughs> With our really powerful abilities. I thought I was supposed to automatically kill dudes when I uh, knocked them on the ground. Apparently that doesn't work for everyone. Okay, then. Well, you know what to say about that. That's right. Damn Skippy. Right. I guess that's why it cut out that it didn't let us go to that part of the forest because that quest... I don't see why it couldn't have let me gotten to that point and then reset the map when I entered. Because it, it clearly... I mean, it clearly shows that sometimes the maps will change when you enter certain areas, so why not? The only So the only reason it wouldn't let me go back or enter this place the other way is because the quest would line ends at the end of the road. But I don't see why it couldn't have just auto-changed it on me. But whatever. Sometimes to do quests, you gotta can't make any sense at all. Man, this multi-hit thing's a lot more handier than I expected. Seriously, do they keep respawning or something? Well, luckily we don't have any quests about no, no scratch, so I don't have to worry about that. Man, depending on depending on the quest you're doing, the multi-hit ability is probably a lot better. Multi-hit slash, uh, slash berserk, you know. The only problem with berserk, though, is that it, uh... uh is the only reason it's not letting me auto kill him is because I don't have a weapon for auto stabbing, maybe? Or something? I don't know. I'll admit, despite the many times I've played this game over the years, I haven't found everything, or figured out everything. Do they keep respawning because the other guy is still alive? Dude, you need a, like, a compass. Please help! I'll follow you back to my brother! You must have seen him! You need a map, dude. Uh, there's like this little girl running around called Dora. She's Spanish. She 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 knows where the map is. She'll teach you a song of how to do it. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Makes you wonder how much someone got paid to do to do that. You know. I'd like to be in that meeting where the guy who did the on the map song created it and how and how he got paid for such a such a uh, a devious original song such as that. Yes, come on. Quit, quit screeching out like a little little babe, little bear. Uh -oh, be careful that they... Really? Man, these guys just keep respawning. I, I understand it for the purposes of difficulty. They must spawn to make sure I'm, I'm still on my toes, but but don't respawn every other second. You know, come on, dude. Come on, dude. What the? There's another? What? You guys are spe respawning way too quickly. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Come on, die already. Die. Thank you. Come on, follow me, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on, I hate escort quests. They're the bane of all games' existence ever. Or archers. They're also the bane of my existence. And cockatrices. No, I actually don't have that much of Other players, other gamers do. They're annoying. Don't get me wrong. But not not my bane. No. Everyone's got their banes. Mine are archers and escort quests. I'm following! I'm following! Yeah, come on, you piece of uh, diglet do. Is that the storm supposed to go? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I don't want to waste all my precious Where free time, dude. Get I've got a world to conquer and Jack of Blaze to beat and all this other stuff. And I got, I got to find me, mum. It's true. The hero, the hero of Albion, is a mama's boy at heart. Who knew? Yeah, let's kill that one guy so he doesn't archer us in the back later on. He doesn't want archer us. I don't. I don't think I have a joke for that, so let's just keep going. All right, quit, quit respawning, guys, and just join. Very scary, yes. Get together with your brother or fellow trader or whatever you want to call it, and let's be done with it. <gasps> oh, you found him. Oh, thank you, thank you. All yeah, I care I about is the gold, dude. Might make sense of it. What do you mean? Treasure clue number two? What? We have two so far. Hmm. Well, we're closer to finding that epic treasure. It better be worth it. Wait, that's it? A clue? Got a clue for you over here. A raging clue. Anyway, yay, we did it. Yeah, I didn't get as much gold or renown as I'd like to because of the uh, whole whatever. But all right, so now we need to get to that disturbance. Let's see. It is in the middle of. Let's see, a scroll over here a bit. It is in the middle of dark wood. So, probably the gate. I should probably borrow barrow fields and just going backwards would probably be the best way to go. I would say. And we'll, uh, go, go, I guess we'll go meet Briar Rose, apparently. Who knew? Oh, but anyway, I was talking about last time how Briar Rose makes like a appearance in the in the very... I'm talking about the very original Fable, not the Lost Chapters. The very original, she makes an appearance once, and, I, and you never see her again. I think it's because they accidentally forgot to cut her out of that version. Because they were going to... The last chapters obviously added some her and some features, but she was originally um, she was originally in the game. Obviously, it seemed like it because that's what the last chapters is the stuff that they uh, had to leave out due to time constraints. But when she, I always wonder what the point of her was. I thought she was like some quest line I missed as as when I played it as a. I don't know how old I was when it came out. I wasn't quite a kid. I think I was in high school, but uh, it. Uh, um, but yeah, it always surprised me. It's like, what is this random lady here? Why is she so different looking from all the other NPCs and then we never see her again? It's because uh, technically Briar Rose has more of a story impact on the in-game content. Well, I guess that's a lie. More past, more like after the end game, like the, the post, the post game stuff. We'll get to that whenever, whenever we actually beat the story. We're about halfway through, maybe even sooner than that. But, but yeah, it was, it was just weird playing the original game and then when I played the last chapters and they actually added had a few more lines with her in it and had a this quest line for example with her being involved in it uh, now you get why she was in there it was just a, a model that actually got to get forgot to get uh, taken out originally but yeah like when you see the behind the scenes or not behind the scenes but when you just look into like a lot of the minor details of night games like these like when you find out about cut content or stuff that wasn't there originally you always you always want to know like what their original idea was like if the people who made the game if they didn't have any constraints at all and had plenty of time and money to do it what would they have liked to have done although the problem with that I mentality is that if you give people too much time and not a time to work towards they will always want to add a new thing or keep or keep improving upon the game and at some point they will never stop and just say hey let's just go with what we've got because we're never going to finish so I understand the idea of having a time and, a, and an idea but at some point there's got to be a good good combination between the two but you always hear stories of like companies being like forced to cut stuff out or or get rushed to their projects and not like inappropriately so and and we always see the producers as, of these games as the bad guys and well, nine times out of ten I'd probably agree with you but uh, yeah we've already been scorn we need to I need at some point go in and start sacrificing people so I can get the the bow of scorn which is the best bow in the game from what I understand uh, I forgot was that a mini game really guys you're merchants you're supposed to be able to just I know there's a guy who played a game here, but I don't remember if it was a game that I needed to win to, uh... Welcome to the blackjack table. 
I try. I don't think the blackjack table you can win what to takes your fancy? Uh, Thank you for your money. win I mean, win a doll. I think. I'll come back and do this off screen if I end up that you do have to win blackjack to get the doll, but I don't think so because usually most of the games that you have to win are usually like timed games. Wait, what? Hold on, let me look at the quest line because it's showing. It says dark wood. Do you have to go in a different direction or something? Oh no, it's backwards. Okay. But why is that bottom part? That's where it came out of, right? Why is it highlighted? That's a bit weird. Anyway. But yeah, nine times out of ten, usually producers or people who publish the games, or not producers, publishers, are usually in the wrong and they should have given more time. But, well, maybe not nine times out of ten. Maybe, maybe seven times out of ten. Because there are some companies that, without any oh, direction, so oh, the guild hey, good looking. Some help, did they? You they put the quest line some in, sort of dude. Damsel in distress. Well, you might no. Well make useful now you're here. Because you're a hero, I've right? I've been studying an ancient shrine we found buried in the swamp, but the whole area just got busy with minions. Looks Where's like their castle in the swamp? Some kind of whacked out ceremony, whatever it is. It can't be good news. Did they build Help three castles the and they all sink into the, the swamp? Maybe I can get close enough to disable it. By the way, helping you, lady, does not mean you're a damsel in distress. Sometimes you need help with things. Don't throw that trope out and not understand the point of it. The point of a damsel in distress is there's two modes of it. There's either a female character who does nothing but gets saved, or two, a female character that's supposed to be competent and then in the end still has to be saved anyway. In this case, we're just helping you get to the end. We're not saving you. Anyway. I know she's. it's probably a joke somewhere. Anyway, Briar Rose. All right, let's help her get to Darkwood Lake. She's supposed to not get hurt, but that's probably still going to happen. Oh, wait. S slow down time. Huh? Okay, let's pull out her weapon now, shall we? There we go. She's probably going to end up getting hurt, so I'm probably not going to get anything from any of these. Uh, oh, these are not... I thought... Th for some reason, I thought these were... Uh, 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 icon ropes. No, they're... Uh, they're those... Um, Although the fact that there is a quest line that says she can't get hurt or something like that probably almost does add into the damsel in distress type of thing. Yeah, I, I did those. Except, you know what I mean. Anyway, see, she's got weapons, she's got swords, she can handle herself. See? I'm one of those people that don't mind the damsel in distress trope as long as it's not done every other like game you know what i mean although really that trope has not been used in a while i mean some indie games use it that when they are kind of run low on story ideas but for the most part very few games i've seen that actually utilize that uh that trope anymore at least as far i i haven't i don't think so i mean there probably is a game out there but. trying to summon this whatever the hell it is I know a way of sealing the portal and making sure that thing never appears. But the invocation was written in Old Kingdom speak, so this could take a while. Aren't you supposed to like some And it uh, looks like we have buff? company. I'll take care of it. You read all the goblins away from me while I recite the incantation. That was the plan. I'm it's better for violence anyway, so. And violence is my main middle man. My main name. My claim to fame, as it were. Yes, they call me, they call me Valdemar Violence Dan. It's a high school nickname. You dig? Alright, let's uh, keep our... Yeah, I don't want her to get hit. I mean, you can suffer a hit, probably. You'll be fine. It's fine. Briar Rose, you can take a hit. It's cool. Anyway, let's... Uh, no dudes come out. Yeah, I can make it. Okay. Yeah, as long as you don't mind not getting hit, then you can protect people just fine. Really, I almost see like there's no reason not to get slow down time, frankly. You know what I mean? Like, this is probably one of the best abilities in the game. Is she done? Hooray! Hit. Book learning does something good for once. The incantation worked. The portal's closed. 
Let's just hope the seal holds. That Wait, was some impressive minion slaying, by the way. You can fight yeah, by my straight. side anytime. Can we do anything? Now I'd better get back to the guild and figure out what that thing was. I didn't think so. She's too old anyway. She's she's almost guild material. Not quite. Although you have to be a mom for that to work, but all right, she didn't. Wait, she got hurt. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. I guess I failed both. Well, I didn't think she got hit, but apparently she did. You know what? Uh, last time we were here, there was an area that was closed. I wonder if we can go in there now. I wonder, if, or is that something that happens at the end of the game? I'm trying to remember now. Oh, okay. Well, what, what's our time right now? Yeah, we got a few minutes. Let's check out the bordello. Yeah, this was also added to the um, Darkwood Bordello. This is also added to the Lost Chapters as well. You'll find out what you you know what a bordello is, right, folks? You're about to find out if you don't know. I don't remember when this opens. A oh, hero. holy! Oh, oh uh, good and bad. I prayed someone from the guild would come, and uh, but I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Minch. Welcome well, to you're the good famous at one spot of your body, Bordello. Please How walk nice. with me. Well, that's not going to be hard to to not walk with you, especially As with you what, can what see, we're looking at. The bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Gotta have pleasure, man. Spells are forbidden here. Would dare Men raise my hand? have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. You're doing the but, Lord's work. Well, we've got problems of our own. Who would hurt lovely Crow, ladies such as yourself? The current owner. He's what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. I like I like what he does. I don't like, like the name. Slaves, little better than yeah. animals. Most well, of them have nowhere else to go, of course. Orphans if only. only. We could find the bordello deeds. Uh, but I'm sure guess. you don't want to hear all this. Please. Nope, sex, please. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Hard to take our character seriously with that chicken hat on, but yep, the bordello of Darkwood Bordello added for the added for the uh, lost uh, lost chapters content. Basically, it's a sex house. So there you go. I think bordello technically. All right, uh, bordello. I know that's. F I think that's French. I'm trying to remember what the French term actually means. It's though. a hard life being a stone Boohoo. You know when I last had a physical relationship? No? Try never. I don't see a door dick on you, so... Uh, so, I've decided or to whatever you are. Now, I only open to men of the world. And I'm afraid you haven't even left the house yet. Come back hey, how? when you're a real stud. How did you know I was a virgin? Douche. Yeah, basically this door wants us to have some old, old timey prancing around in those bed sheets, as it were. You know, doing the dirty, to, uh, flexing the weasel. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to actually get too, too graphic, but you, you know what I mean. He wants us to uh, bump hips, bump, bump uglies, as it were. Uh, which I have, and I tried to get Lady Grey to do it, but you know, like I said, it's kind of hard to get Lady Grey to actually. Lamentia, the goddess of painful, painful love. Does she have a whip? Yep, she has a whip. Yep. Huh. But yeah, we haven't gotten to do it with Lady Grey yet because, uh, well, she's hard to actually get to sleep with her. Uh, not because you can't marry her or whatever, it's just, uh, so Kana, the goddess of tender love. I guess I assume she's just like, you know, kind of your typical, like, motherly, like, maybe girlfriendy type. Of, it's hard to really tell because I don't have a microphone. Or not microphone, but, uh, Ooh, a fish here. Let's see what's inside the. Let's see what's in the Bordello Lake. Hopefully, it's not something disgusting like someone's underwear. Put it past the game to do that. I would do that if I was designing the game. Ah! Stop, uh. Stop taking up all the line, fish. Don't do that. Don't take forever. Yep. 
Almost lost it. Ah! You tried to trick me, game. How dare you. Hooray! You caught something! A used condom is what you got. I mean... Moonfish. Well, that was worth this. That would have been funny if you caught something like that, like someone's pants or something like that. I don't know. I think that would have been funny, actually. Uh, let's see. What else is around here? Oh, yeah, the demon door. Uh, let's go inside. Smiling let's check out the lovely ladies see, of the yeah. evening. Um, hey, too many sausage fests down here. Go. Oh, who are you? Oh, welcome, valued customer. Ah. The name's Grope, and these here ladies Grope, huh? belong to me. Blonde, you, huh? I don't know if I should be disgusted or pleased with your with your actions We've in life being an evil hero myself. Entertainers in all Albion and cater to a wide you know prostitutions. No. <laughs> Specialist tastes. <laughs> you don't have to call them entertainers. Prostitution is the oldest jaw like form of work in the since civilization began. There's got to be. I think there should be sort of a respect for that, but unfortunately, at least in America and our society, we still don't view it as such. I know in other cultures it's kind of seemed a bit bit more of a respected uh, profession. Ah, that's the word I was using. Profession. It's the oldest profession in so civilization. So you got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them wares, cause huh? trouble, you be sure to let me know. Well, I'm not into that type of One kinky stuff, thing. but okay. Watch out for old madame over there. She's after the I mean, she's hard in the eyes, but still, she seems nice. Oh, I gotcha. Her massive red hair used to drive me wild when she was younger. But she's Dude, don't tell me about your wet dreams. These days. Okay, that was a bit cruel. I, I was joking about that. Was kind of making me spill my secrets in a bed. She's been trying to get me drunk. That must be easy I for nearly you, fell though. for it once, but she won't catch me again. I'm not Why are you telling me this again? The way it stays. But listen to me, prattling on. <laughs> These are my problems, yes. <laughs> go on, go, 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 go. What? Enjoy yourself, sir. I was about to say, are you going to tell me your whole back history? Like how you were beaten as a child or something like that? Because I didn't really oh. like that. <laughs> All right. Hey, madam. Ooh, let's see what our, let's see what options we got here. We got, uh, looks like, maybe like an Egyptian look. We've got like a dominatrix. Let's see, we've got a, a mysterious lady. Let's see what we got over here. We've got yourselves a, I guess a classic? That's kind of classic-y, I guess. Hmm. Well, let's just uh, kind of just look around the place. I wonder if we could steal stuff in here. Oh, there's a guard. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard to do. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Sorry, sir. You can't come up unless you're in the company of a lady. Or you are one. <laughs> See what I mean? Eh, uh, we've got a weapon. I'm not gonna cause trouble in the house of house of love. Fine. I can only go up there if you watch me have sex with some lady, huh? How pleasant. Well, looks like we've done ourselves a little bit of quest. I think our hero has earned a bit of a, a little bit of a rest, if you know what I mean. You little uh uh huh. To say no more, say no more. A little uh uh ooh, uh. -huh. So, in the next episode of Fable, we'll have, uh, we'll have uh, enjoyed ourselves a bit, as we were with all these lovely ladies here. And then we'll continue on with... Uh, actually, I think we've done all the side quests, so I guess it's time for plot next episode. So, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. And I'll uh, have uh, subbed all the wares, as it were. <laughs>